Hey, welcome back to the channel, Cooking with Manual Focus, and today we're gonna be making some oven and crock pot ribs. So you in the game, any season, any day, rain, sleet, snow, sunshine, you in the game. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and focus on these oven and crock pot ribs. Now we're going in with the St. Louis style first. Now we're gonna put the St. Louis style in the crock pot. Now we're going in with some olive oil and we're gonna use that as a binder, right? And then we're gonna score the back, that membrane. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, if you cook your ribs right, that membrane will be delicious also, right? It's just about technique. Now we're going in with a little bit of liquid smoke and a little bit goes a long way with the liquid smoke but if you don't like liquid smoke you can use other smoked ingredients like smoked paprika or smoked salt right and that'll give it you know that smoke flavor that you're used to when you're eating a delicious rib now we're going in with our favorite barbecue rub and i'm just using the blend that i created use whatever barbecue rub that's your favorite right and then you want to make sure that your coverage on these ribs from side to side are even and then that you're not you know skimping on that coverage right so just make sure that they are seasoned well all right now we're going with the baby back style now this is going in the oven same process right going in scoring the back hitting it with the olive oil and then we're going to hit it with that liquid smoke and then get these bad boys seasoned up right now this recipe right here is going to have you in the game any season any time of the year so rain sleet or snow you can always have some delicious ribs and you can do it in the comfort of your own home or you know if you got you know a smoker and you just don't want to fire that bad boy up hey you in the game now we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven going at 275 degrees and then our crock pot we're going to preheat that also now we're going to cook these ribs for two hours and 30 minutes both in the crock pot and in the oven too so we're going to start with the crock pot like i said we're going to be using those st louis style ribs right and then by the way make sure that you let these ribs sit you know about 20 minutes so you know those seasonings can kind of penetrate that meat now you also want to make sure that the meat side is on that ceramic so it can cook well now i love this crock pot here because it has that gasket and you know no heat's gonna be let out now we're going in with the oven rib again at 275 and if we're gonna be cooking this at two hours and 30 minutes right now with the power of editing hey those two hours and 30 minutes are up right now we're gonna pop this hood up and then we're gonna see how these ribs are coming along all right there they go right there all right so they're looking pretty good you see that pull back on those bones and then you see all that you know that grease we're going to discard that and then we're going to top these ribs off with barbecue sauce so use your favorite barbecue sauce now i'm using you know sweet baby rays now they got like this no sugar added one that's absolutely delicious now we're going to pop this this lid back on and then we're going to cook it for an additional hour now we're going with the oven ribs again use your favorite barbecue sauce and then going in with some brown sugar i'm using light brown sugar you can use dark brown sugar it really doesn't matter and then you're gonna hit it with some butter right a hey, butter always make things taste a little bit better right so go in with a couple of cubes of butter and then you in the game so we're gonna get these ribs out of the oven and then we're going to place them on top of that brown sugar, that barbecue sauce, and that butter, right? Look at those ribs. Hey, they coming along nice. So we're going to face these ribs face side down. And then we're going to use a little bit of apple juice. So you can use apple juice. You can use apple cider vinegar. You can use Coke. You can use, you know, whatever that you want to do. So what we're really trying to do here is get these ribs steamed. And this is going to tenderize these ribs, right, as we wrap them and these is gonna keep these nice, moist, and then like I said, tenderize those ribs. Now we're going back on our rye rack and we got these face meat face side down and we're gonna cook these for an additional hour or two. Now after that hour is done, we're gonna bring these bad boys out and you know, it's almost like Christmas, man. You gotta see what you got and look at these right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how they look. You already know I gotta do it, right? All right, we're gonna flip these bad boys over and you can see, like I said, the pullback on those ribs, that bone 
oh man those look absolutely delicious but we're not done yet so we're gonna take these ribs over and we're gonna get these st louis style ribs out of the crock pot and see how these bad boys are doing right and again like i said i love that crock pot right there and look at that card right there if, if you want to know more about this crock pot hey I got a video out, you know, unboxing and then, you know, just a quick video. Look at that pull back on those bones right there on that rib. All right, so we're going to get this bad boy situated. And now we're in the home stretch of these ribs, right? So what are ribs without getting these bad boys sauced up? So you're taking your favorite barbecue sauce and then you're getting these bad boys all sauced up. All right, look at that right there. Now you the artist in your kitchen, man. This is your kitchen, you make it happen. So you do whatever, man. But look at these ribs, look at them baby back ribs, man. I can go ahead and take a bite out of these bad boys right now, but they ain't done yet. So we're gonna place our oven on broil, and then we're gonna broil these for five minutes. Now you can see, I put this on the middle rack so they don't burn. So really what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the barbecue sauce is set in on these ribs. So after five minutes, Look at these bad boys right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you when it's on broad, make sure that you're watching them ribs because they can burn. But these are perfect right here. Like I said, you just want that barbecue sauce to set in and then let these bad boys cool and you in the game. Delicious. All right, so there you have it. You got your oven versus crock pot ribs. You are in the game all seasons it don't matter what season it is you in the game so y'all already know what we got to do we got to get us bad for a taste test all right we got them baby bag ribs right there that was done in the oven got to get us bad boy a taste look at that right there mm. oh yeah clean bite Mm, that's absolutely delicious right there. All right, we're gonna try that St. Louis style rib. Now this was the crock pot one. I already know this bad boy about to be delicious. Now that's absolutely amazing right there. I'm gonna give me another bite of that one. That's super delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I didn't think that, you know, crock pot or oven ribs would be that good, but man, that's absolutely delicious. Now, if you're new to this channel and you like this content, smash that subscribe button. And if you're feeling this content, smash that like button. And for the people that's been rolling me for a while, you already know what I gotta do. Man, I'm about to smash into these ribs and we'll see you guys later. Peace.